Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to resize a VirtuBox virtual machine by cloning its current state without losing your Windows activation. I have a problem here with this genuine Windows 10 virtual machine created with VirtualBox. And the problem is that I wasn't very generous in terms of this space when I created this virtual machine a while ago. So its disk space has become largely insufficient and I can't install updates. So I need to find a solution to this problem. I tried cloning the machine before but it results to be unactivated and I don't have another genuine license for Windows 10. I tried to resize the hard drive from command line before shooting this video but you notice that I was unsuccessful. There's no unallocated disk space. So the first thing we want to do is to shut this machine down in the first place. Now I'm going to perform a clone of this virtual machine by choosing current state. This way no snapshots will be carried over from the original machine to the clone, solving our problem. Now, as to the other problem, which is to keep our Windows activation, what we need to do before starting the new machine is to copy the hardware UUID you see on the left, on the command line, to the new machine. And that's what the command on the right does. Now we can start our clone. And we're going to check if our Windows kept its activation state or not. If we go to settings, we can check our activation state. You see that everything looks good from here. Additionally, I can download Windows updates so our machine kept its activation status as before. This is probably the easiest way to solve this problem because I tried to manually delete the snapshots but it's a lengthy process and there was one I couldn't get rid of. If we check the hard disk sides from disk management with our computer management console here We notice that I don't see any unallocated space, of course, because I was unsuccessful previously. Let's take note of the file path of the hard drive related to the clone machine. At this point, we can shut it down. Okay. Now, if we compare the original machine with the clone, you'll notice that I don't have any snapshots in the clone machine, while I have one in the original Windows 10 machine I couldn't get rid of. Now, we can resize the hard drive of the clone machine. That's why I needed the path to the BDI file. 
because I tried it with the original machine, so I need to change the file path and the command here. Let's go back and check it, just to make sure we perform everything correctly. You can view it from here, if you double click this, you'll see the path. Alright, so I copied it over from the finder and I could successfully resize the hard drive. Now, if we check the properties for our hard drive, you'll notice that apparently nothing changed. There's anyway a credible explanation for this. If we start our new virtual machine, we go back to disk management like we did previously takes a while this time around we notice we have an unallocated space pretty much almost 100 gigabytes now we can create a new partition if we want to keep the data separated from the operating system. Not an option I'm particularly big on, to be honest with you. Or we can simply, as the two partitions are adjacent to each other, delete this new partition like this and extend our C drive including the unallocated space for this like I said we need to have the two partitions adjacent to each other and that's about it you see that we now have a much larger hard drive okay that's all for today bye bye